Hello guys, I hope you all are doing good. I am Vishali Kikan from Vishali Z Learning and we are discussing the digital circuits. So today in this video on digital circuit, we are going to discuss the Boolean function. First of all, we are going to see what is a Boolean expression. Then we are going to see what is a literal, what is a sum term, what is a product term. And with the help of that, we are going to understand the sum of product form and the product of sum form. After that, we are going to see what is the difference between the SOP and its standard SOP form. What is the difference between POS and its standard form? Then we are going to see how we can convert a given SOP form into its standard SOP form, the various steps for that as well as the POS to its standard POS form and various steps for that. At the end of this video, we are going to cover up some questions based upon the conversion from the SOP to standard SOP and from POS to the standard POS so that you will become more comfortable in this topic. So let's start our discussion with the Boolean expression. So Boolean expression will be having some Boolean constant. What are the constant one or zero which are not changing entirely, right? So it is constant. The Boolean constant and Boolean variable. It could be A, B, C, X, Y, Z, P, Q, right? So Boolean constant and Boolean variables are combined with the help of the Boolean operations, the AND operation or the OR operation. In this manner, we are going to get the Boolean expression, right? So Boolean expression is also known as the Boolean formula and it is used to describe the switching function or which we call it as Boolean function. So from here, the term Boolean function arises, right? And Boolean function is made up of the Boolean expression. So how do we denote the Boolean function? Function of variable a comma b comma c is represented as f a comma b comma c as c. This is any expression. We can take any other expression as well. I have taken a bar plus b dot c, right? Or we can simply represent it as f is equal to a bar plus b dot c. Similarly, we can have a function of four uh, variables as well. So f of a comma b comma c comma d will be equal to a plus b c bar plus a, a bar c d bar, right? So here a b c bar a bar c d bar. So these are all my literals. So the Boolean variables in their complemented or uncomplemented form are called the literal. So here you can see I have six literals a b c bar a bar c d d bar right so this is how we have the six literals over here then over here we have some product terms first term is a a which is a product term then we have b c bar which is again a product term then we have a bar c d bar which is again a product term now what is a literal literal is the occurrence of variable in complemented or uncomplemented form as i have already told you now we can have the sum of product representation, SOP representation. Now we can have the POS representation as well. So function of A comma B comma C comma D in the POS can be represented as B bar plus D dot A bar plus B plus C dot A plus C bar. So you can see over here, we have here seven literals B bar, D, A bar, B, C, A, C bar. So this is how we have seven literals over here and we have three sum terms B bar plus D, A bar plus B plus C and A plus C bar. So now we can now use this boolean function and we can do some uh, basic operations on the boolean function as well. First of all we can find out the complement of the boolean function. So if I have to find out the complement of basic function A bar plus b dot c so this is my function and if i want to find out complement i will be taking complement over here and now i know how to solve it with the de morgan's law right so we can easily take the complement of the boolean function by taking the complement of the expression over here right after that we have the boolean sum if i have two functions f and g both are on the sum variables a b c d and so on the variables are same so the functions can be added together f plus g a comma b comma c comma d can be represented as the individual sum of the functions f of a comma b comma c comma d and so on plus g comma g a comma b comma c comma d and so on 
so what we are doing we are taking the two functions let's suppose this is my f a bar plus b dot c and similarly i have g which is a plus b bar dot c bar plus a right so now if i want to add these two what i can do f plus g can be equal to simply addition of these two a bar plus b dot c plus a plus b bar dot c bar plus a so what i have done i have simply added both of them similarly i can have the boolean product as well f dot g a comma b comma c comma d and so on will be equal to f of a comma b comma c comma d and so on dot g of a comma b comma c comma d and so on so here if i need to find out f dot g what i could have done i would have over multiplied the individual expressions for f and g right i hope you understood these basic things about the boolean functions now if i have n variables you can see over here over here i have taken four variables so how many boolean functions i can make so this is a single boolean function that i have similarly i can have much more boolean function let's suppose if i take instead of b bar plus d if i take b plus d right so it will be a all together different boolean function but it is using the same four variables so here how many boolean functions i can make with any number of variables it is 2 raised to power 2 raised to power n right if i have n variables i will be having 2 raised to power 2 raised to power n boolean functions right for example here let's suppose x to be 1 when x is 1 we will be having 2 raised to power 2 raised to power 1 which is 4 right so now i will be having four boolean functions so x is 0 or 1 right x is any variable which can take either value 0 or 1 so f1 would be both zeros f2 would be 0 1 f3 would be 1 0 and f4 would be 1 1 so this is how we have the four possible combinations for the functions and this is how with the help of one variable i can make four functions right so now after that we have the sum of product form sum of product form is also known as sop form now here we should know what is the sum term and what is a product term before moving forward so product term will be having the group of literals which are ended together like a and b and c x and y so similarly like this we can have any product terms in the sum terms we have the group of literals which are odd together like a plus b plus c so here a or b or c here we have x or y right so now coming to the sop sop is the group of product terms that are all together so now i have to take here the product terms like a b c this is a product term it is odd with another product term which is a c bar which is odd with another product term which is b d right so in the sop we are taking the product terms which are odd with each other now it is also known as disjunctive normal form or disjunctive normal formula similarly we have the product of sum form where we have group of sum terms which are ended together so a plus b plus c is my sum term which is ended with a plus c bar which is again a sum term which is ended with b plus d which is again a sum term so we have three sum terms which are ended together it is also known as the conjunctive normal form or conjunctive normal formula now coming to the standard sop and the standard pos in the standard sop if each term of the sop contain all literals we are calling it as a standard sop so now if i have over here let's suppose this is my form right so here you can see the function of a comma b comma c will be having ac ab and bc so over here you can see ac is a term ac is a term which is not containing the literal b in the function we have three variables so here in the ac we are not having b right in the ab we are not having c in the bc we are not having a so this is not a standard form right so this is not a standard sum of product form this is a sop form that we can see but this is not standard because each of the term of the SOP will not be containing all of the literals over here we had seen that but standard SOP contains each of the term will be containing all of the literals so in the uh, SOP in the standard SOP if I see individual terms 
first of all if i have any sop we will convert it into the standard sop and now each term of the standard sop is called now as a min term now coming to the standard pos now if each term of the pos contains all literals over here you can see here we are lacking of c here we are lacking of a and here we are lacking of b so this is not a standard pos form we can convert it into the standard pos form although right so i'm going to tell you how to convert the pos into the standard pos right now whenever i have the standard pos term each individual terms in the standard pos form is called the max term now for the conversion you have to remember that a plus a bar will be equal to 1 and a dot a bar will be equal to 0 so when i add any variable with its complement i will always get 1 and when i have and of any variable with its complement I am going to get 0. So we are using these two identities right to convert SOP and POS to their respective standard form. So now coming to the steps how we are going to move forward for conversion of the SOP to the standard SOP and POS to their standard POS form. First of all we have to find out which is a missing literal in each of the product term. So this we are doing for SOP to its standard SOP form conversion right so first of all we have to see which literal is missing in each of the product term right after that we have to add each product term having the missing literal with terms formed by oring the literal and its complement right so after that what we have to do so if we have over here ac in the ac which literal is missing b is missing now we have to add each product term having missing literal with terms formed by oring the literal and its complement. So which literal is missing? B. So we have to or the B and its complement and we have to add it with AC. Right. So in this manner we can expand AC and it will be containing the B as well. Right, so after that expand by applying the distributive law, I will now expand this, I know how to expand it and then reorder the literals, reduce the expression by omitting repeated product terms if any. At that we have to simplify the expression. So let's understand this with the help of this first question. So here I already told you we have B literal which is missing, so we are going to add it with B plus B bar. So here in a b c is missing so we are going to end with c plus c bar in b c a is missing so we are going to end with a plus a bar right so now we are going to expand it so it would be a b c plus a b bar c right then we will be having a b c plus a b c bar after that we have a b c plus a bar b c right now after that what we can do we have we have opened it using the distributive law now what i can do i can now remove all of the terms which are repeated like a b c a b c and a b c over here are repetitive so i will be having a b c over here plus a b bar c plus a b c bar plus a bar b c so I hope you understood this. Now coming to the second question. We have A plus ABC. So now here in the first literal, in the first term, what we have? B and C both are missing. So what we are going to do? We are going to add it with B plus B bar and C plus C bar both. Right? Plus we will be having ABC. So now I am going to expand it. Again I am going to expand it. So now here you can see ABC is occurring twice. So I can minimize it, I can use it only once because A plus A I know it is A only, right? So I am going to take ABC only once and I will be having A, 
बी सी बार प्लस ए बी बार सी प्लस ए बी बार सी बार राइट सो नाउ आई होप यू अंडरस्टूड हाउ टू कन्वर्ट द एस ओ पी टू इट्स स्टैंडर्ड फॉर्म सिमिलरली वी हैव द पी ओ एस एंड हाउ टू कन्वर्ट द पी ओ एस टू इट्स स्टैंडर्ड पी ओ एस फॉर्म वी हैव द सिमिलर स्टेप्स लाइक फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल वी हैव टू फाइंड आउट द मिसिंग लिटरल इन ईच सम टर्म इफ एनी आफ्टर दैट वी हैव टू और ईच सम टर्म हैविंग द मिसिंग लिटरल with the terms formed by ending the literal and its complement now we have to instead here what i was doing i was ending b plus b bar here here what i have to do i have to or b dot b bar right then we have to expand by applying the distributive law and then we have to reorder at last we have to reduce the expression by omitting the repeated sum terms repeated product terms if any right so over here we have a plus b b plus c a plus c so a plus b will be having the missing literal c so we can add over here c c bar c dot c bar what we have over here b plus c now what we can do add over here a dot a bar right after that we have a plus c what we can do here missing literal is b so what we are going to do we are going to add b dot b bar right so now we are going to open it so we are going to apply the distributive law a plus b c we know the distributive law a plus b c can be written as a plus b a plus c right so similarly over here a plus b i am taking as a and b and c as these two terms c and c dash so over here if i want to expand it i will be having a plus b plus c a plus b plus c bar similarly over here we will be having a plus b plus c and a a bar plus b plus c right here i will be having a plus b plus c a plus b bar plus c right now we have the repeated terms a plus b plus c a plus b plus c a plus b plus c and i know a dot a will be equal to a only so here i am going to put a plus b plus c a plus b plus c dash a bar plus b plus c a plus b bar plus c so now this is my standard pos form right coming to the question number 2 now here we have a dot a plus b plus c right so how i am going to expand it so here we have the missing literal b as well as c so i am going to write it as a plus b b dash or b b bar plus c dot c bar right and it is multiplied with a plus b plus c so here first of all what i am going to do i am going to expand a plus b dot b bar right and i am going to write plus c c bar as it is so a plus b b bar what it would be a plus b multiplied with a plus b bar right and now it is added with c dot c bar and then it is multiplied with a plus b plus c right now i will be having a plus b a plus b bar and we have plus c c bar right so now here what i will be having i will be having a plus b plus c a plus b plus c bar a plus b bar plus c a plus b bar plus c bar and a plus b plus c now a plus b plus c is occurring twice so now we can reduce it so what i will be having over here a plus b plus c i have used a plus b plus c only once then a plus b plus c bar a plus b bar plus c a plus b bar plus c bar so in this manner i can convert the given pos into its standard form i hope now you understood the basics how to convert the given expression you could you can now get any type of expression and you can convert it 
into its standard form right so now here in the standard sop form here all of these terms are called the min terms these terms are also called the min terms here these terms are known as my max terms so in the next video in the next class we are going to talk in detail about the min terms and the max terms and why they are useful so let's meet soon in the next class and i hope you liked all of the things that i have discussed in this video if you have any doubt you can put the doubt in the comment and i will be trying to resolve your doubt as soon as possible i hope you like this session if you like it please push the like button subscribe to the channel share it with your friends and also give me your feedback thank you so much